Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Nintendo Switch News. Today we have a fully packed program for you as we will do a deeper take on the recent specifications rumour spread by Digital Foundry and Eurogamer. We will also share our opinions on the new trailers and gameplay of Dragon Quest XI and the Switch exclusive Seasons of Heaven, both being developed in Unreal Engine 4. Without further ado, let us begin. Tegra X1 Maxwell Architecture, you strike us again. We hate to say it, but every rumour about the Switch, previously NX, coming from Digital Foundry and Eurogamer in the last couple months have been so accurate that they have more or less been the truth. And with the entire gaming scene panicking, we believe it's time for a clarification based on facts. For one, the Nintendo Switch will not run on the standard X1 Tegra chip, as this was debunked by Nvidia themselves when they stated in October that the system is actually powered by a custom crafted Tegra chip and that its GPU is based on the same architecture as the world's top performing GeForce gaming graphics cards. How many times do we have to repeat this? And seriously, Eurogamer, please stop reporting rumours as facts. Your article title is about as misleading as it can get. Nothing is confirmed until Nintendo confirms it. So what do we have to deal with if this is the case? To say it in a few words, the most detailed specification description we have received so far, they have publicly stated that they can confirm from several sources that Nintendo has developers and partners recently with the following details. The Nintendo Switch is powered by a 4-core ARM Cortex A57 CPU currently clocked at 1 GHz, while its NVIDIA-based GPU consists of 256 CUDA cores currently clocked at a max 768 MHz while docked and downclocked to 307 MHz while undocked. The architecture inside the chip is NVIDIA's second generation Maxwell, not based on Pascal with a total system memory of 4GB shared for games and the operating system. And then we have the two most important details, the video output, drumroll please, 1080p 60 frames per second when docked and 720p when undocked and running on the battery. So to clear things up, what does this all mean? Well for one, the Nintendo Switch, based on the specifications detailed by Digital Foundry and Eurogamer, will be below the baseline 2013 Xbox One and PlayStation 4. The reason for why we state this is that the Xbox One has an 8-core AMD custom CPU with a frequency of 1.75 GHz. The PlayStation 4 has an 8-core AMD custom CPU with a 1.65 GHz compared to the rumored 2 GHz on the Switch. So far so good in terms of CPU for the newcomer. Nevertheless, this is the end of the cheerful news for the Switch. Since, in terms of the GPU, the Xbox One has 768 shader cores outputting 1.31 teraflops, while the PlayStation 4 hasn't specified its number of cores, but outputs 1.84 teraflops. The Switch? Maximum, 1 teraflop. Not good at all when we know how PS4's higher GPU has resulted in more 1080p ports of third-party games compared to the Xbox One, which has been stuck with 900p and 720p ports. But what about the architecture and RAM? According to the Switch rumor, the second generation Maxwell architecture is powered by a memory of 4GB. This is merely half of the 8GB memory found in Xbox One and the even more superior memory chip in the PlayStation 4. This is disappointing seeing that Nintendo had over three years to meet these specs that are aging quickly. But apparently, if true, this was a sacrifice that had to be made in order to make the Switch to a hybrid system. And, by the way, all of the specs apply when the system is docked. According to the same rumour, the performance when undocked drops to 40% of the performance on the big screen to most likely conserve battery and avoid overheating the system. If this is true, then the docking station must apply some extra horsepower. But how about the internal storage? Not good, uh, apparently. Just like the premium Wii U 32GB. Seriously, Nintendo, are you living under a rock? The iPhone 7 starts at 32GB and goes all the way up to 128GB. We really, really hope this rumour is false. Needless to say, this will pale in comparison to PlayStation 4's and Xbox One's 500 and 1TB hard drives. At least let us hope the Switch will be just like the 3DS and offer an extra slot for an SD storage card. Actually, speaking of the Wii U, how does the Switch compare to the system specs-wise? The CPU of the Switch, according to this rumour, clocks in at a maximum 2GHz, compared to the Wii U's 1.23GHz. The GPU is not even comparable. 
The Switch, with its one teraflop, is miles ahead of the Wii U and has twice the memory, as the Switch has 4GB while the Wii U has 2GB. So, all in all, a great upgrade from the Wii U, which is good news for games such as Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Naturally, this was already confirmed frame rate wise during the Jimmy Fallon demonstration a few weeks back. Oh, but what if this rumor is false, and instead the Nintendo Switch is running on the X2 Pascal? It is hard to say with Eurogamer stating that documentation supplied to developers along with the table above ends with this stark message. The information in this table is the final specification for the combinations of performance, configurations, and performance modes that applications will be able to use at launch. But even so, let us do a little rundown. For one, a larger GPU naturally means a more expensive 16nm Tegra X2 Pascal chip with the same amount of CUDA cores as the rumor second generation Tegra Maxwell chip. But on the other hand, according to sources, the Tegra X2 Parker chip boasts 50% higher GPU clock speeds. So what can we hope for? From a price point alone for the system, a price tag of $199 to $250 US dollars for the rumored second generation Maxwell architecture switch will be a very good deal. But if we want third party support and a system throughout its lifespan, then it will be hard to not go for the Tegra X2 Pascal 16 nanometer, since the 50% higher GPU clock speed will help in terms of keeping the system in touch with the baseline model of the Xbox One and PS4, even if this would mean a price tag of 299 to 350 US dollars. And besides, if we see that the system is a hybrid with Unreal Engine 4 support, running on fast and powerful cartridges, and that the handheld portion alone is almost or possibly more powerful than the Wii U is on the TV screen, then we are in for a treat anyway. And by the way, this is the first Nintendo non-TV peripheral that outputs higher resolutions than the Wii U gamepad's 480p. You can most likely see the Nintendo Switch from two perspectives, either as a super powerful handheld or an average game console. And maybe that is the point with the hybrid system. Speaking of third party developers, we got new trailers and gameplay of Dragon Quest XI and the Nintendo Switch exclusive Unreal Engine 4 Seasons of Heaven. Let us begin with Seasons of Heaven. To begin with, this game looks graphically stunning. A large, intriguing, and gorgeous game world is based on a novel so the story should be compelling, has a beautiful theme, a super cute pug dog companion, great variety of gameplay ranging from exploring on foot, tree climbing, paragliding, and on top of that, both you and the dog can bear torches. How is that not awesome? Though this title would have been a great showcase launch title to demonstrate the power of the Switch, we deeply hope that this is not the case. Since looking at the jaggy and downright awkward animations for a 2017 game, this has to be fixed in the final product. Like, for real, even The Last Guardian with its odd animations looks miles better than this. We further have our doubts on whether this trailer, like in the case of many other third party reveal trailers in the past, is actually running on a real Switch. We are cautious and believe that this Unreal 4 engine footage is running on a PC build, and yes, the second generation Maxwell architecture can run Unreal Engine 4, though it most likely will not be as pretty as this. But we will have to wait and see what the developer, AnyArts, has to say on what is the source of the trailer slash gameplay footage. We are impressed and excited, but see this more as a late 2017 title due to the many fixes that have to be carried out with the jaggy animations. Last, but certainly not least, we finally have the first official trailer and direct feed gameplay for the long-awaited Dragon Quest XI from Square Enix, which has been confirmed for Nintendo Switch, PS4, and 3DS. But before we move any further, here is the disclosure. The gameplay demo is on a PS4, and the trailer is clearly made in CGI. With that being said, what an incredible game this is shaping up to be though, right? A massive, varied, and vibrant world with interesting characters, a compelling story, a kingdom that isn't in ruins, proper towns, interesting villains, powerful bosses, and conflicts between humans, solid gameplay including sword combat, horse riding, dragon flying, and possibly even sorcery. Combine all of this with fluid animations, a gorgeous art style, and solid graphics, and you have an experience that is likely to surpass previous Dragon Quest installments. And best of all, just like the Breath of the Wild, we can play it on the go with the Nintendo Switch. So let's hope the graphical downgrade will not be too great from the PS4 version at least. Nevertheless, when we speak about Dragon Quest XI, we also have to touch upon an incredibly important subject attached to the Switch. Since if Nintendo once again commits the blunder to region lock the system, then just like with what was the case for the Wii U, this could mean bye-bye Dragon Quest XI, or at least for the fully uncropped version for us in America, Europe, or Australia. So in terms of the next episode of Nintendo Switch News, 
we will dive deeper into this important subject. But for now, we want to see your opinions in the comments on the rumored specs of the Switch, Unreal Engine 4, Seasons of Heaven, and Dragon Quest XI. Please like, share, comment, and if you are new, subscribe to Commonwealth Realm and Super Metal Dave 64 for more Nintendo Switch videos. We hope you have a fabulous day, and we will see you guys and gals soon.